Now the first thing you'll notice about the Micrologix 1100 is it does not have terminal covers. Actually these terminals are a finger safe design with labels printed on the top and bottom right adjacent to the access holes. Let's go ahead and zoom in starting on the bottom left. Here we can see the power terminals and as this unit is an AC powered model we have terminals for L1, L2 and earth ground. To the right of that we have an unused terminal and then we have our first set of output terminals. This particular model is a relay output model and those relays support both AC or DC power. And this first set of terminals is labeled O slash zero, meaning this is the terminal for output zero. So if in your ladder program you command output zero to close, if the PLC is in run mode, the relay connecting to these terminals will close and allow power to flow. As we look at the rest of the output terminals, O slash 1 through O slash 5, we notice that each of these outputs has its own VAC VDC power terminal as well, which in turn isolates all these outputs from each other, which means that each of these output relays can connect to a different power source. Now let's move on to the top terminals and we'll start on the left hand side. Here we can see the micro does have terminals to provide 24 volt DC power. This power source is often referred to as sensor power as it only supports a couple hundred milliamps of power and is only for use with the input terminals. But it's typically enough power to power some sensors connected to the inputs. Next we see the first group of inputs. Each of these first four inputs I0 through I3 share the same DC common. And that means all four of these inputs are going to have to share a common power source and they're all going to have to be either syncing or sourcing devices. As we look at the next group, I4 through I9, they also share the same DC common as well. And finally, we see two analog inputs, IV1 and IV2, and they share a common as well. Well, that's it for today's tour of the Micrologic 1100's terminals in this edition of the Automation Minute. 